Hi everyone, my name is Frank Hayes. Mark the Games. Uh, we just thought we'd uh, give you an introduction to our 2021 year and uh, have, a, have a look back at all the things that have, uh, have been good and uh, not so good. Um, you know, there's been some interesting times all the way through the year, so we thought we'd just share those with you. Mark? Well, Alan, to the year, probably for me, uh, the last Stafford show. Uh, very good gathering, probably the most we ever sold at show. Uh, good result and fantastic show. Yeah, it was, it was a good show. That, uh, I think the highlight for me was um, chatting to one chap just out of the blue, um, finding our way up to his, his uh, house, only to see that he'd got something like 25 bikes. Yes, yeah. Ranging through the 1960s, 70s, all the way through to the 90s. Yeah. Uh, and ended up buying what about 13 or 14, 13, 14 bikes. So we were very, very uh, pleased with that. That's certainly my highlight. It was a surprise. Um, the area, I'm not going to where the area was, but it was uh, in an area that I didn't expect it to be. And when we actually went around the corner, there was about half a dozen houses that looked like something out of uh, Hollywood. You know? Yeah, yeah. Really surprising. So that, that for me is my highlight of the year. Wow. Oh, a choice of two for me. Uh, one would definitely be the, the VF1000 behind us, which was 1986, zero miles, never been registered, uh, which we've just sold to a lovely chap who lives in Sydney, Australia. So that's going on its travels. I think for me, uh, the bikes, I think there's a few, but I, I, I guess the Rickman that we had to well, was, say that. was an absolute stunner. Um, you know, that was just unbelievable. £25,000 of the bills with the bike, which was a real, real peach. Um, and I think uh, seeing the CBX Motor Martin uh, yeah, original. An old one, a favourite that we've been after for a long time, I think. I think that, for me, that was my favourite bike. The beauty, we've kept it, well, what, you know, what we call our close uh, friend and family. So, like I say, a good friend of ours has got Anthony now. Yeah, yeah. So, that's going to live with us for quite a few more years. Well, uh, for me, I guess, um, when we did the XL show, uh, which was um, in February 2020, that was a show that was my favourite for several reasons. We, we met some new people, we met new friends, we met uh, traders that we, we become friends with. We had a few uh, sleepless, beery nights, didn't we? And uh, the actual show was fantastic, so that's my idea. Yeah, well I think for me, I think it was the Motorcycle News show at Peterborough um, because it, it was, a, for me, history of the BMF show and it was nice to do it in conjunction with, uh, with SMC uh, out of the dealership um, and it was a great team effort, really enjoyed that, that was great. Um, has it affected it? Uh, yeah, I think uh, the pandemic has affected everybody. The only thing I would do there is flip it on its head and say that it's affected us in a way that we've actually seen a massive increase and a massive improvement in, in sales, uh, in people coming to see us, uh, in being able to collect bikes and buy new stocks. I think a few people have said it's time for me to uh, let my my you know my bikes go. So we, we we've done really well. We've worked hard. We've managed to find some bikes that have, have been really really peaches. So I, I would say it's affected us in a good way, not bad. Yeah, I totally agree. It's made it easier selling. Um, we've done a lot more delivering ourselves. Quite well travelled, Scotland, Cornwall, uh, that give us chances to see other bikes along the way. So really, yeah, an interesting and um, yeah, quite a busy year, busy than I thought it would be. Uh, if you said investment from today or for the future, I, I would look at it in, in both. I would say. Investment today is certainly uh, Japanese and Italian uh, 70s, 80s, uh, maybe even early 90s uh, are good investments for now. Uh, certainly, uh, you can see the prices are, are going up on those. I think the British has just sort of uh, gone a little bit stale, but, but not too much. There are still desires for good quality bikes out there. But I think for if you, if you looked at today, certainly CBX thousands, Z models, A models. Uh, twin shocks are definitely good investments, especially if they were UK bikes. LC 350s, um, RD 400s, that type of stuff is always going to do well. 
So that for me, I would say. I'd say, yeah, it is what he's gone through. Like, we've not made the two strokes. 17, 18 Japanese two strokes. Seem to be the thing at the moment. Over to you, Mark. I think you've done more travelling than uh, uh, these travel programmes. Penzance, Peter's in Scotland. Uh, You've done well. I've done Ireland a few times. We bought uh, we bought bikes from from Ireland, and they've uh, you know we've gone over there um, to look at bikes, and, and then you know a couple of three days later fix the bike. So yeah, we've done we've done we've done we'll, we'll travel anywhere because at the end of the day you've got to you've got to think to yourself the bikes are where they are. You'll go if you if you want them if you want the quality you've got to go out and search for them, and, and we have done that. You you know you alluded to. Selling bikes, we've sold one to Australia. We've done a couple to America. Uh, we've done a couple into into Europe. So these are the type of things that you know our names getting established, and we get people uh, referring us to other other friends of theirs, and, and we're finding that we're getting people ringing us and saying, "I want that particular bike." So it's, it's good. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Plans for Steel City? Well, uh, you know, we've we've been going in in, in as a business uh, for years, and year on year we, we've seen growth. Um, we are bulging at the seams uh, where we are at the minute. We've piggybacked on the, on the back of our other business which is Sheffield Motorcycle Centre and uh, there is times to consider that maybe we look to uh, expand and see if there's something for that. But definitely you know, we're looking for bigger and better and we want to carry, the, carry that uh, momentum going forward. So uh, just watch this space. Um, thank you very much for uh, listening to us and, and uh, if we don't see you before, uh, myself and Mark would love to uh, wish you all the very best for Christmas and the new year. We obviously want you to stay safe, uh, but we obviously want to see you down for a, a coffee or a bacon butty. Uh, Mark, if you want to add to that? Yeah, just thank the loyal customers. Uh, thank you for your support. We've, had, we've got half a dozen customers now, they've had an excess of 10 bikes of us. Just keep supporting us year after year. Uh, just like to thank them and thank uh, new customers uh, that are going to pop up over the next year. Just one, one more thing from me. I just want to uh, thank Mark. Mark's been uh, fantastic for Steel City Classics. Uh, like the team at Sheffield Motorcycle Centre, his passion for bikes, his passion for classic bikes is second to none and uh, he's been great for uh, Steel City Classics. He's done a cracking job for us along the way that continues. So well done, Pat. Thank you very much. Thank you.